Russell. She stars as Josie in Josie and the Pussycats, the new film. Starting next Friday, however, you can see her in the critically acclaimed new movie, Antitrust. Please welcome back to the program, Rachel Lee Cook. <laughs> It's really cute like that. Thank you very much. Is it, did you do that for a role? I did this for me, Rosie. Just, just for your life. I just needed to change. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Because you always had sort of straight, long, blackish brown hair. Yeah. And now, were you scared? Have you ever been this short before? No. No. Actually, I've always been this short. I'm just Good kidding. <laughs> when you went in, when Tough you were crowd, okay. When you, <laughs> um, <laughs> when you went into the hairdresser, was it their idea or yours? It was my idea. You said short and blonde. And they said, Will you sign this and not hurt us? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what they don't tell you is that it hurts. Have you ever gone blonde or no. had highlights? Have you seen Malcolm X? Yes. It's a little like that scene in Malcolm X. It starts to burn. It burns right yes. through. Yes. It's also in um, the Tina Turner movie. Remember? She, yeah, What's Love Got to Do With It? Tina Turner and the backup singers, for I get their hair done and it breaks off and falls off. I got to see that. Yeah, yeah you got to okay. see that. Now, I have to ask you a personal question. How Please. old are you? I'm 21. You're just a baby. And I enjoy you so much. Baby. How old were you when you did that PSA? You know that PSA anti-drug with the frying pan smashing everything? That's her. Yeah, that's you. Now, when, how old were you when you did that? When I did that, I was, let me see, not, I think I was 18. You were 18? Yeah. And had you done movie parts and stuff, or was that? Because that's sort of the I first had, time I remember seeing you. I had done a couple movies. I did, like, the Babysitter's Club and this yeah. thing with Tom Arnold called Carpool. And I heard a clap back there from Babysitter's yeah, Club. Yeah, I like the baby. Melanie Mayron directed that, that, right? Guy? Okay, no, I'm just Didn't kidding. she, Melanie? Yes, she did. Yeah. I love Melanie. Yeah, she's great. Oh, man. So, yeah, I've done a couple of things, couple but movies. it really helped my career. Yeah, a lot of people noticed yeah. you there. You had such poise. We have a little clip. Oh, Take a look you. at her wrecking up a kitchen. It's really effective. <laughs> How'd look. You get this? I don't know. We got it. This is your brain. This is heroin. This is what happens to your brain. You're snorting heroin. And this is what your body goes through. It's not over yet. This is what your family goes through. And your friends and your money. And your job and your self-respect and your future. Any questions? Yeah, see? saw you that and took notice, right? I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Now, I hope so. the movie that you're in now, Antitrust, yes. we had Ryan Philippe on yesterday. Isn't he the nicest guy? He's such a cutie. He is. He's very sweet. He is. And I like so much that he's married with a baby. It's great. He is so happy. Yeah. He's so happy. I know there are a lot of girls out there who are pretty sad when that happened, but yeah. be happy for Ryan. Yeah, please. for little Ryan. Now, who do you play in this movie? I play Lisa. She's a graphics interface designer for a uh, sort of, not startup, but new computer company called Nerve that's run by uh, Tim Robbins and some other people. And uh, they're not all. I can't, I didn't, I'm so confused as to how much I'm allowed to tell you yeah. about this. Movie. Well, don't, because I'm going to see it this weekend, so oh. don't ruin it for me. But you're, you find out that that company's not exactly what it's supposed to be. Something is awry. Something's awry. Yeah. Is that enough of a setup for our clip? Um, the clip is the first time I meet Ryan. Well, at the right. company. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not yeah. as mysterious yeah. as all that. No. All right, take a look. Antitrust, which opens up uh, next Friday all over the place. Cool. Uh -huh. uh, pretty famous around here. Yeah, I'm uh, getting a bit of a teacher's pet rep. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, you got to figure most people around here were their teacher's pets. Were you? We moved around a lot. I barely knew my teachers. Me too. I did. What, were you an army brat or something? Yeah, something like that. What do you got there? I wanted to show you the interface systems for Synapse. Okay, yeah. I'm Lisa, by the way. I do. Uh, Antitrust, it opens January 12th, which is next Friday. And um, you also have a big lead role. You're Josie in Josie and the Pussycats. I am. Now, that's got to be thrilling. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see it. You're much too young to ever have seen the cartoon, though, right? I've seen the cartoon. Um, some of my friends get the Cartoon Network. I didn't watch it growing up. Yeah, though. you didn't watch it. No. Captain Crunch or Quisp and Quaker. I was 
PBS kid. Oh, you well, are. You were in Flintstones. Like, yeah, yeah. How did the whole cartoon thing strike you? Are people like, how did you draw from that? What well, do you want to know what's so funny? The Wilma Flintstone, Elizabeth Perkins. Yeah. She was always talking to me about the motivation. She's like, what do you think the motivation? I go, mm, it's the cartoon. Yeah. You know? Hi. <laughs> but it's like it was. It gave you a freedom to just sort of play. Yeah. You know? That's true. Is that what you did? I totally just played. People wanted to know how I. You know, did I study the cartoon and mm, all that stuff? Be the tree and all that other actor crap. Yeah. And um, I know. How can you base a character that you want to be as three dimensional and wonderful as possible on something that is literally two dimensional? Right. And yeah. Yeah. So, Here's a picture of you as Jack. Now, it's cute. It's cute. Look how cute you are. Do you know how to play the guitar or sing? And did you have to for the movie? I can't sing at all. At all. I can't sing for my life. Um, they don't want me to tell you that, but I figure lay it on the table. Yeah, lay it out it's there. It's okay. Lay it out there, Rachel Lee. Um, yeah. Okay. You can't sing, and it's not you and singing. And it's okay. In the, yeah, it's not you singing in the movie. <laughs> do you want to hold my hand? Are you all right? Let's I just think take I'm a let them Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where no, did you grow no, up? No, I don't sing. I'm from Minneapolis. You're adorable. But from adorable. Minneapolis. Cute You're little adorable 21 year old. No one is. Isn't she the cutest? No, thing you can be my kid. Ever. Do you understand? Yeah. When I look, I swear, I'm getting really old because when I see the young, upstart, young actresses like you, all feisty and happy their first time on the show, I'm like a proud mother. I'm like, great to meet you. It's so good. And she's going to be Josie and her career is going to tingle. It's like I'm in the senior citizen's home watching all this stuff happen, you know? You're a doll now. Did you know that? This is a little weird. This, yeah. this, this, this is you. This is going to end up on sale for $4.99, I'll tell you right now. Yeah. Like, right next who wants to, my, to play with right somebody who looks like Rebel. me, okay? Wait, no, can I tell you, it doesn't look like you at all. I think they took the Jacqueline Smith head from Charlie's Angels <laughs> and they stuck it on there. Does that look like you at all? When I'm very angry. Really? Um, Give me that look. Oh, you're right. It does yeah, look okay, like there you. Go. There it is. That's the Josie and the Pussycat look. I don't know. Yeah. Let me see. What? Oh, what's this? What? This is my doll. Hi, Rosie. Oh, hi, Angel. How are you? Good to see you. What's going on? Yeah, nothing. Want to pretend we're on a show? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's sit over here. So, are your parents nice? Yeah, they're okay. Yeah, are they supportive of you being in the entertainment? Yeah, where'd you get your pantsuit? Oh, uh, it's red. I get it at the red store. <laughs> what? Where'd you get your little leopard ensemble? Jeez, you look like a cat. In fact, the pussy cat. <laughs> you don't sing. Don't pretend you do. <laughs> when I was a kid, my Gia, my Barbie dolls used to beat up my brother's GI Joes oh. all the time. I used to find them like dismembered behind the radiator. Like, yeah. do you ever pull all the hair out and it's just dots? Um, one time I cut her bangs, but they weren't supposed to go that way. I think, and they just stood up like this. Do you know what that music means? means we have to shut up. But her, her movie opens next Friday, and she's so adorable. You can come back whenever you want, movie or not. You can come visit I find too. you charming. I find you charming. In a very maternal, maternal, motherly way. We'll be back after this break. Without waiting.